Hello and good evening. I'm Lazima Gomes and you're watching Goa 365. Our headlines at the hour. Corporator involved in pay parking scam surrenders. Taligaon Bachao Abhiyan opposes mega housing projects. GTDC along with villagers celebrates leap of joy at Pumurpa Spring. Now the news in detail. Main accused in Panjim pay parking scam, the corporator of the city of Panjim, corporator Nagesh Karashetti, surrendered to Panjim police station today at 11 a.m. Mission of Panji has lodged a complaint against unknown persons for collecting uh, this parking fees near Santa Monica and uh, near the bridge. So in that connection, we had registered an offence under section 465, 420. Uh, and we had arrested uh, two people who were collecting uh, the fees. So they had disclosed that uh, that one uh, Nagesh Karishetti, who is a councillor in CCP Panji, had uh, asked them to collect the uh, parking fees. So on that basis, uh, we were searching for uh, Nagesh Karishetti. We had raided his house and all, but he was absconding. And today morning, he came to the police station, and then we have arrested him in this case. It may be recalled that Karashetti was absconding after being deceived by his own people who informed the police about his involvement in the pay parking scam. Speaking to Goa 365, Panjim Police Station PI Francisco Kort said that they would produce the accused at JMFC to seek remand for further investigation. There is 24 hours uh, after arrest to produce before uh, JMFC. We will be uh, producing him before JMFC and obtaining a remand. He said that they have already sent a letter to the bank asking them to furnish the details of the account of the accused. We have made letters to the bank uh, because we have, uh, uh, through investigation, we came to know that uh, this amount was being deposited in a particular bank every day. So we have asked that bank to furnish us the documents. On that basis, we'll come to know what, what is the exact amount. However, CCP Corporator Surendra Furtado demanded immediate resignation of CCP Mayor and Deputy Mayor with regard to the scam. I demand the immediate resignation of the Mayor Mr. Tony Rodriguez and Deputy Mayor Mr. Yatin Parekh because this group of five have now shown an allegiance to the Deputy Mayor. He is aware of everything. He wants to make Panjim green. How? by cheating uh, the people of Panjim of the pay parking. Meanwhile, CCP Mayor Tony Rodericks said that he was unaware of this scam. No, no, no. With the sole intention to fight for people's basic rights, a group of concerned citizens from Talikao constituency, after having a meeting yesterday, decided to form Talikao Bashao Abhiyan. This group is basically formed to pressurize the elected representatives of the Panchayat and to push forward their demands which have so far been neglected by the Panchayat members. Subsequent to the last Gram Sabha meeting that was held in Taligaon, it was felt by many citizens that their voices are not heard properly. Because uh, when the, in the Gram Sabha we started raising points, we were shouted down by uh, many people over there. And uh, the citizens felt they were not being listened to properly. Their genuine complaints were not attended to properly by the panchayat over there. And uh, many of them said that as individuals when they go to complain, they get victimized in the sense their work never gets done because they complain. So it was, it was felt necessary to form an association of people so that as an association like uh, Taligao Bachao Abhiyan, we can go and represent these people's problems to the panchayat as an association, a group of people. Speaking to Goa 365, Talikao Bachao Abhiyan member Anand Madgaonkar said that they have asked people to form ward committees in order to identify the problems faced by them. What we are doing basically right now is we are asking each ward to form a ward committee. We will ask volunteers from each place to come up, then say what are the problems they are facing in their ward. You will realize that the people in the ward only know what are their problems. People living in one ward will not know the problems of the third ward which is very far away and they have their typical problems. So they will first get all the problems together, then we will go to the panchayat with these problems properly put down so that they can be discussed at the Gram Sabha, which is the purpose of holding a Gram Sabha, unless they solve those problems before the Gram Sabha is held. So that all the people will get their representation fairly at the Gram Sabha. At the same time, we will prevail upon the Gram Sabha 
the punches and the sarpanch to do what is necessary and what is wanted by the people in the ward. Kaliga Bacha Abhiyan also opposed all mega projects in Donapal in tune with the various villagers who are already opposing similar projects. They cannot show us that they have the infrastructure in place for these mega, mega projects. We are going to oppose them. For example, there is a huge mega, mega project coming up over there uh, of 1,200 flats. We are talking about 5,000 people being added to the plateau which has a population of 5,000. From where we are getting water for hardly one and a half hours to two hours. The roads are not proper, which they have not been developed by the government yet. The Abhiyan also cleared their stand on Rajiv Gandhi IT habitat at Tonapola. Habitat stand is very clear. Uh, the Gram Sabha has passed a distinct resolution saying that the IT park is not permissible in Donapala, it does not come under that. The Taligao Bachao Abhiyan also demanded the scrapping of Taligao outline development plan. Why is Taligao alone holding ODP? That should be scrapped right now. We should go back to the people and then come, come out over there. And because of this ODP now lots of seven storey buildings are coming up in Taligao without proper infrastructure and we hope to stop all these things. We'll spill into a short break. Stay with us.